welcome back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for July the 12th through July the 18th. And of course, we are starting with your love verb bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. What is going on for Scorpios, Scorpions, who are in a beautiful romantic bond? We have Scorpios, abundance in your love life, and fairy guides. Whenever you are feeling blue, don't worry. The fairies are protecting you. When you think that they're yeah, I'm just saying, the love is not decreasing this week. The love is actually so much so that you're like, wow, I feel good. They feel good. I don't feel any negativity. I feel like there is so much love. There's more love and more love. I just feel like there's so much. Why do I see you guys like... You're just happy to be with each other this week. That's what I'm picking up. You're just happy to be with them and they are happy to be with you. Now, let's move on to, like, it's like, you know that when we were kids? No, you hang out first. No, you hang out first. No, you, yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, it's definitely like that. All right, so Scorpios looking for love, looking for love. What's the energy around Scorpios looking for love? Singles. Hmm, this is interesting. Ah! I feel like it's this one. Thank you, thank you. We have love. There is love coming into your world this week. Lead the way. Take the reins today. Follow, others will follow if you lead the way. It is okay if you make the first move this week, all right? All right, you're like, no. Yes, you know you're powerful enough to make the first move. Now, let's move on to your... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angels, we're looking for the message, the general messages for lovely, lovely Scorpio. Wow, okay, lots of messages. So hang tight there, hang tight. All right, moving on to my mama's deck. Angels and guides, high vibrations. Yes, yes, and, and, yes, 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 and, yes, woo. And moving on to the dragon's deck. And remember, guys, remember, my tribe that the dragon's deck is red right side up to get out all the positive energy yes that we can now let's top off the message with the hummingbird deck come on angels what's going on what are the messages for scorpio mm -hmm. thank you may we have one more message please thank you whoa and we're going to top it off top 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 it off with the buddha deck to get your spiritual message for the week and that is simplicity keep it simple now all right remember that keep it simple keep it simple all right now let's take a peek shall we we have the four of pentacles yes with the eight of hearts shine six of diamonds Two of diamonds. So what I'm picking up, just kidding, but what I'm picking up is do it your way. I did it my way. Yes, I feel like this week when it comes to what you want, what you desire, hold on tight. Yeah, some people might say, let go, give a little. No, use your power. Hold on to what you have. You will be thankful for it later and they will too because whatever you're holding on to it's going to um I feel like I feel like it is whatever you're holding on to whether it's money whether it's a house or love whatever it is you're going to continue to hold on to it bam there it is two of diamonds you're not letting it go you're not letting it go. If it's a if it's a romantic partnership, if it's a business partnership, if it's a job, it's a, a house, you're holding on for dear life. You're not letting it go. And you're not letting anybody talk you into letting it go, okay? Now, in the recent past, we have the Four of Swords reversed with the Seven of Diamonds, Vulnerable, the Ten of Diamonds, and the Three of Spades. So in the recent past, with the Four of Swords, I feel like you had done a lot of thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and you shared that. I feel like you shared that. With the Seven of Diamonds, you shared that you knew in the recent past um, what you wanted, and I feel like what you wanted was a lot. I'm just going to say that. You wanted a lot. You wanted more than what was given. 
but you are vulnerable about it. Okay, you want, I really believe with the Ten of Diamonds and the Three of Spades, I, I feel like, I feel like in the recent past you were dreaming about success and the way you wanted success was different from anyone else. This was creative success. I feel like you had your eye on the prize in the recent past. And the way you wanted to, I, I see in the recent past you were working on it and you were telling people that you were working on it. Maybe you were doing your due diligence, but you were definitely working on your 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 abundance coming into your world. No, that was in the recent past. No, in the middle of the week, we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Seven of Clubs, the Union, the Four of Hearts, and the Ace of Spades. So I feel like in the middle of the week with the King of Cups reversed, there is energy coming your way. Don't don't get upset about this, okay? I feel like this partnership, this union that is coming is going to be solid. I don't feel like you really want anybody in your business, in your, in your, in your life, romance or things of that nature. You kind of just want to do it your way. But I feel like letting this person in or letting this energy in or this opportunity in is going to ground you and it's going to create a new beginning. So if this person, if it's a person, if it's a job, if it's an opportunity, let it in. Let it in. Don't be so closed off that you don't let it in, okay? Now, when we look at the end of the week, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Spades. Energy with the King of Hearts and the Ten of Hearts. So, by the end of the week, I see you almost finished. Because, yeah, you put in a lot of work here. You've definitely put in a lot of work. And, and I feel like... When I look at the whole week, I if, I feel like it's like you've done the work to create everything that you've created, right? And it's almost like, you know, you do all the work and then somebody at the end says, oh, like let's say you cook dinner and someone, someone at the end, very end, say, oh, do you need any help? And you're already done. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, and, and I see that, I see that. This, this energy that's coming in towards you with the Ten of Spades, I feel like this energy, you think that you're almost done, but it's you can become even bigger. You can become even greater. You have the energy to do this. With the King of Hearts, I feel like, I just feel like someone's coming to help you that's going to lift you up. I really, really do. So let them. And I know that you want to protect everything that you have. I know that you're holding on to what you have, but you can bubble up and become bigger if you let someone else in. Now, when we look at the Three of Pentacles as your bonus, reverse. With the Justice card, reverse. The Ten of Swords, reverse. With the Jack of Clubs, organize. Uh-huh. Four of Spades, that's what I thought, King of Diamonds. Um... You're holding off. You don't want to. You don't want to agree to this. You really don't. You don't know if this is the right thing to do. But you do know that it's going to make life a whole lot easier for you with the Jack of Clubs. Th this, you know, it's almost like if you let this energy in, just kind of make sure everyone knows exactly what they're doing like you stay over here i stay over here you do that you do maybe maybe you do marketing and i do investments or maybe you work with the children and i work th do this or maybe yeah exactly everybody stays on their side of the street now i feel like doing that with the four spades it will actually bring more success in your life. This is going to be a challenge because you're used to doing things by yourself, for yourself, alone. But someone is walking into your world. Maybe you're hiring someone that's going to help you organize your business and bubble up to the next level. Or maybe you're, you're, you're having someone come into your world to help with your children. Or maybe you're going to a um, marriage counselor, right? You're, you're saying, okay, because we want to bubble up. We want to be better, right? I see the King of Dimes is saying, take your power in this situation. Don't be so, what's the word? Refusing help this week. Do not refuse help this week. This help is beneficial to your business. It's beneficial to your household. It's beneficial to your love life, whatever it is, go with it. All right. Don't, don't hold on so tight.
Just keep it simple. You don't have to go overboard, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.